Today we will discuss something about liver abrasion, clinical progress, and perspective. I'm Dr. Tang, come from the second and the fourth ability hospital of Zhejiang University. I'm a surgeon. First, thousand years ago, Hippocrates said that what medicines do not help the lungs well, what the lungs does not help fire well. So, how can we use fire? And thousand years later, I'm sorry, we can find this abrasion is a very effective to effective ways to treat the liver cancer. We can first we can see the abrasion vs liver section because we want to know what's the difference between the two ways. We can find that the one Two, three years of average is the no, no significant difference between two ways. And we can find the same recurrence survive raters. So we can see sometimes we can use abrasion to extend of liver section. And we come to the NCCN guideline, we find that there are three radical therapy for hepatic cellular carcinoma. The first one is liver section. The second one is transplantation. The third one is abrasion. So abrasion is a very effective way to treat the liver cancer. And when it comes to the, mm, the New England and the ISMO guideline, we can find in several stages, we can use abrasion to treatment liver cancer. So what are the advantages of abrasion treatment? The first one is that only about 5 to 15 and sometimes less than 40% of the patient can receive the liver resection. If not, we can use the ablation and the shortage of liver donor for transplantation is so pity. And high safety for the ablation treatment and the IFA radiofrequency ablation and the microwave ablation can cause nearly 19% necrosis in the small HCC so we will come to the real life study. We find that the green one, the green one is the abrasion and in the North American Europe and other country, we, just like Japan, we can find, especially in Japan, we can find near 50% of the patient receive the RFA or microwave abrasion and in China and Taiwan and other country, it's less than 10% of the patient. Why there is a so large difference between the countries? I think sometimes the um, in China the patient found um, when, when the patient found the liver cancer, sometimes it's much large, and we can't use the IFA or the operation only. So the clinical applications, we can find that liver tumor ablation, we can use three ways to approach. The first one is percutaneous approach. The second one is laparoscopic. And the third one is open approach. We can find this. So the most popular ways for the ablation is percutaneous approach. We can guide with ultrasound CT or MRI. First, we can see the, the way we can see we use ultrasound to guide to treatment the liver cancer. This patient is about 50 years old. We can find the tumor, the mass is here near the mid hepatic vein, and we use the abrasion to treat the, this patient. It's very easy for us to do this. If we use the liver resection, it's much difficult. And we come to the second case. We can find this tumor. This tumor is near the IBC and around the mid hepatic vein and the left hepatic vein. The best choice may be the liver transplantation. If we don't do the liver resection and liver transplantation, we find it's unresectable. So when we come to this patient, we can do the operation. 
First, we put a needle close to the mid hepatic vein, and the second needle is near the left hepatic vein. And we can find this in the ultrasound. This is IVC, and this is tumor. And we use microwave to do this operation. We can put the needle, the microwave needle, as near as possible to the IVC. It's, it will not injure the vessel. And we can do the IFA or do the microwave operation near the big vessel. And we come to this patient, we can find, when we finish the abrasion, we can find the completed, completed abrasion of the tumor. The tumor near the IVC and hepatic vein, we can find its completed necrosis. And the patient was disease free for more than five years. And when we put the needle near the tumor, First, we will avoid to injury the large vessel like portal vein and hepatic vein. And when we come close to the tumor, we will put the needle as near as possible to the IVC. And this is a special area. Maybe sometimes we call this high risk area. And this, tum this tumor is near the IVC and the near in the surface of the liver. And after the operation, we can find this tumor is here around, around by the vessel. Then we first, we do the IFA or we do the operation, microwave operation with the ultrasound eye. After the operation, we can find that the tumor was completely destroyed. Here, the tumor is here. And several months later, it becomes smaller. The second approach is laparoscopic approach. When the tumor in the special or the high-risk area uh, region, just like uh, subcapsula, close to the blood, and gastrointestinal tract, lung, heart, we can use laparoscopic. First, we use the laparoscopic, laparoscopic to find the tumor. If the tumor is near the surface, we can use, find it is very easier without ultrasound. In this case, we can find that the tumor is here, we can use ultrasound, but it's sometimes it's very hard to find this one. And we can use CT. Mm, and in this case, we use laparoscopic. I think CT, we can find this tumor and it's easier. And we can find this is near the subcapsule. We use the laparoscopic to find the tumor and do the abrasion. And we find the completed necrosis of the tumor. So we can say that we get the completed operation. This, the third um, advantage of the laparoscopic, sometimes we can find the bleeding after the IFA and we can stop bleeding immediately. And if the tumor near the stomach, sometimes we will injure the stomach and we will fix it immediately. It's very safe. And the third one is open approach. Why we do the open approach? Because sometimes we do the operation com combination with the resection. When the patient has several tumors in the liver, the large one, we do the liver resection. And we do the RFA for the smaller. We can get the tumor destroyed, all, all the tumors destroyed with one thing. And uh, we can find this one. This one is tumor, the large one is here. And we can find a very small tumor is here. So we first do the liver section and we do the RFA or ablation immediately. If 
we do the operation to the tumor, we said that we do the operation. But when come to the second way, if we don't do the operation to the tumor, we do the operation around the tumor, and we call this operation assistant hepatectomy. Because we, if we first do the operation around the tumor, then we do the liver section, we will find that there are little, so little blood loss during the operation. And we can find the tumor is here. We do the operation around the tumor first. Then we do the resection. The first advantage is that, is that we can get very safe and negative much here. The second is that we nearly no bleeding during the hepatectomy. We can see the picture here. Tumor is here. We do operation along the, this one. And this is operation assistant hepatectomy with lip laparoscopic. The tumor is here. We do operation through the laparoscopic and we use scissors only to get the tumor hepatectomy. We'll see some video here. First, we find the tumor here and we mobilization the liver and we do the RFA for abrasion. Here, we use the abrasion around the tumor. After several times we use this device, we can find the tumor is around. By this way, by this operation, and we use scissors here. If we find the bleeding here, or find bleeding, we will do the operation immediately. And we get the necrosis area. If we get, a necro if we get enough necrosis area, there's no bleeding through the operation. And for the same time reason, I will show this one. Okay. If that we find the blood vessel here, we should do the abrasion first. But sometimes if we don't use ultrasound, we won't find the blood vessel here. And we do the operation, use scissors, it will cause bleeding and we use abrasion again to get necrosis here. So it's easy for us to do the liver section and there's a margin, negative margin here. You'll find the bleeding here and we used abrasion here. We can find bleeding. Okay, it's bleeding. So we use a breathing device here. And we find the breathing stopped and we do the liver section again. Sometimes we use the laparoscopic ultrasound before we do the liver section, we can find the large blood vessel, where is large blood vessel, and we avoid enjoy this. If the small one, we can use a bridge. So what's the future perspective? I think heat sink effect for the perivascular liver tumor is a question. If we do the operation, we do the operation near the large blood vessel, we can find sometimes uh, heat sink will cause the tumor residue after the operation. So how we can avoid this? I think sometimes we can use the microwave operation 
to the needle as near as the vessel, as the vessel. But if we come to the bile duct, so it's um, we can't use this one because if we near the bile duct, sometimes we we will injure the bile duct, and if near the hepatic vein, we can use the ablation needle as near as possible to the hepatic vein. And the second is limited operated area for the left tube, large tumors. And sometimes we can find, in, we can use the new ways to include, include in cross area. Sometimes we use two microwave needle or three one. And what's the best parameter setting for the specific tumor. What's the specific tumor? I think is some tumor near the hollow organ or in the subcapsula or near the good breath or near the gastric intestine. Mm, there's a difference between the high risk area and the normal area. And how we can use the combination of IV or abrasion with other local region therapy, just like a taste, PA, or radiotherapy, and so on. And the combination of abrasion with the system max therapy. As we know, we can use the TKI and the immunotherapy just like PD-1 for the liver cancer. Sometimes we can find it's interesting that abrasion triggers immuno response might increased PD-1 treatment effect. Some patients, uh, we can find uh, several tumor in the liver after we use PD-1 treatment. One or two tumor become less and uh, become smaller. And if the other one become large, what should we do? Sometimes we can use the abrasion for the large one. And after the operation, we can find that the abrasion can trigger the immune system the other tumors in the liver or outside of the liver will come smaller. So it's interesting here. And in our group, um, we have some, some study is about combination with abrasion with TKI. And uh, in this article, we use, we use the sonophenable to decrease the vessel formation within the tumor. And after the, we use the TKI medicine, just like sonophenable, and we use RFA, we can find the RFA can combined with sonophenable could, could increase the abrasion area. So we can use the two ways for the liver cancer. The abrasion is local therapy and the TKI medicine is system therapy. So that's all, thank you very much, thank you.